Hello YouTube, this is Sonic TKK here, and uh, welcome back to another Python tutorial. Uh, I just want to apologise in advance in case I sound a little bit sick, or if my nose is stuffed up, uh, because I'm always getting, like, not sick, but like I'm always getting a stopped up, stuffed up nose, sore throat. Uh, uh, for any of you future viewers that are in the future, it is the... Tuesday the 26th of November 2013 so it's coming up to uh, Christmas or December or whatever you celebrate and uh, always around that time, around the wintery time I always get uh, hay fever and it, it annoys me and I have hay fever and it annoys me a lot like uh... <sighs> anyway Welcome back to another Python tutorial, and in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about doc strings. Now, what is a doc string? A doc string is a documentation string. Um, and the best way I can describe it to you is if you call help on a module. Help is a built-in Python method, uh, and I'll talk about methods in a second. It's a built-in Python method that uh, will give you help on a certain uh, function or method. And I'll explain more about methods in a second. Uh, so it gives you help. So if you had a class called uh, Hello World, don't put in the parentheses because uh, that, that attempts to run it. Just put in the name of it. Same with functions and stuff, only put in the name. And it, if you have a doc string attached, it will give the user some help on it. Um, so let's make a simple demo. So let's say... Actually, before that, I just want to talk about methods. Methods are like functions, except they're found inside classes. So a function is a function if it's just defined here. Uh, uh, world. That's, uh, this here, I was pointing to it, uh, that is a function, but if it's in a class, It's a method. So this is an init method, but if a function is outside a class, it's a uh, it's a method or a function. Sorry, in a class, uh, it's in a class. It's a method. If it's not, then it's a function. Just remember that. Drill it into your head. Um. So now I want to talk about doc strings. So let's say this is the doc string for the example class. So how you make a doc string is you do three apostrophes by like basically pressing the apostrophe key three times, and then press it again another three times, and then go to the middle and take it out. So you do two, three, and then go three back and go like that. We don't have to do that. I don't even have to take spaces, but it just looks nice. So what I can even do is I. Hello world, and that's a doc string. But I don't think you can have more than one doc string uh, here. But that's how you define doc string. I do it like this because I find it easier to read, uh, and I don't think it's part of the pep style yet. In fact, I think it's not encouraged in the pep style yet. But uh, anyway, I'll talk about pep in a later tutorial or pep, whatever way you want to pronounce it. So, this creates doc string, and whenever we call help on example, what? Uh, what is this? Uh. Hmm, I'm not sure why there's an indentation error. There really shouldn't be. Um, hmm. The doc. Hmm. Huh. That is weird. What the heck? Okay. 
Okay, let's redefine it. Um, let's say def init self print hello world. There we go. So let me say help x. It'll say this is the doc string for the example class. Uh, yeah, you shouldn't have got that error. I don't know why I did. So it says this is the doc string for the example class because. Uh, help x will get the doc string for the uh, example class. If none is provided, uh, I don't think it lists the doc string, but it just lists all the methods there. So say it says in it self, and then we can add a doc string. Uh, say this is the example class. And sometimes it does that because I have the auto pep enabled. Uh, so then it basically gives the class example whenever we ask for whenever we ask it for help. Uh, let's just say pass. Um, what we called help whenever we call the help method is a method because it's built into Python, uh, the standard Python module. Uh, it says this is the doc string for the example class. So it basically takes this because it says whenever you call help, Python says, right, class example, let's get some help on it. Let's uh, let's say, well, it's a class, so let's tell the user that it's class. Is there a doc string? Oh, yes, it is. Let's see what the doc string says. This is the doc string for the example class. Okay, I'm going to put it in here to tell the user that it is a doc string for the example class. Uh, the edit method. That's something there, so we should tell the user that there is a, an init method. Uh, let's see, is there a doc string for the init method? Yes, it is. Yes, there is. So, what does it say? Initializes the example class. Let's shove that in there. And then, that's it. Uh, we're done. And that's how Python lists everything. Seriously, that's what Python says. It just, it, it talks to itself. <laughs> that, that's how it does it. It just says, right, let's go get this and this and this. No, if only programming was that easy. Last well, actually, I'd hate it because, yeah. Anyway. That's basically how that works. You should understand how classes work, but basically this is how you define a doc string. You could put, you could tell the user what it does. If you had a function to add two and two, you could say adds two and two together. Or if you added two numbers, then you could say adds number A and number B. Um, if you notice in idle, if you ever use idle and you open the bracket for... Excuse me, if you open a bracket for a function or a method, it gives you like a little hint. I think that is a doc string. I'm almost sure that is. Uh, so that's another use for doc strings. It's basically a documentation string. It's documentation on how to use um, certain functions and methods. And it can be extremely useful at times. Like, very useful if you use it right. Uh, so I'm working on a little project here. This is a file system thing, but I'll talk more about it whenever it's done. Still working on it right now, uh, working on it since yesterday, and it uses doc strings everywhere. Let the user know how it works. So there's an example use. It says, remove dir, this doesn't work yet, but it removes the specified directory, returns true if the file is successfully removed, false otherwise. And it takes three arguments, and I list what each of the arguments are. Uh, so it's like a, a comment, except documentation, and uh, the user can see it. And the competitors like the word. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching this tutorial. I'm Sonic GK, and I will see you in the next tutorial.